You might know this person. Oh my god, Doha, why? His name is Doha. He is my intern. I met him about a year ago. It was when I was hosting this event to try to find someone to help work with me and he stood out from everyone else. Oh, you can have it then. Okay. And from there, we kind of just started clicking and I really enjoyed filming with him, working with him, just hanging out with him as a friend. Basically, he came unannounced a couple months ago, just surprised me out of the blue. What the shit? And has been staying with us ever since. So it's been over like almost two months and he's been lucky enough to stay in Luke's room because Luke's just been out of the house traveling and filming videos in like California and stuff. He's gotten really lucky, but actually Luke comes home tonight. And so he's kind of like, oh, where am I going to stay? I want Doha to stay here and live with us and live with me because I love Doha and he's just like so fun to be around. So I asked everyone if it's cool if he lives here and they said yes. Basically, I'm just going to let Doha know that he always has a place with us and he can kind of take that weight off his shoulders of you know not knowing where he's gonna sleep and you know possibly kind of be living in his car or something or just you know running low on funds and you know I want to support a friend and someone that I really like so I'm gonna let him know that he can always stay here he's not technically like a new roommate but kinda anyway let's go tell the man where is Doha Doha is not in his room right now I found Doha I wanted to film with you. Oh, thank you. Why, you're not excited? So, what are you gonna do that Luke's back? I don't know. I talked with the roommates. You know, most of them all said, oh, I gotta get rid of him. Yeah, I, I'm just kidding. I, I talked with them and, you know, we all love you so much. We want you to stay. I mean, only if you'd want to stay. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. You don't want to stay? No, I mean, I feel like you guys let me stay for so long and... Well, you yeah, don't want to overstay your welcome. You guys, like, work hard and this place is expensive. I yeah. mean, I would love to stay, but I mean, I can't afford for two months. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so... We would love to have you. Yeah, I'm down. <laughs> What the fuck, bro? Let's go! Kidding. Like, for real. Yeah. Thank you, I appreciate that. Dude, you're like such good energy. You're such a loving person and you, you know, you make everyone's day better. So, you gotta complete your 99 days, man. You're gonna make me cry just having a bad day. Aw, oh, dude, come on, man. Having a bad day? Come on. <laughs> you can record it. <laughs> I, feel, I feel bad. Yeah, I was trying so hard, but you know, it's so difficult. Well, you know, we're here to support you and that's why we like having you around because you, you work hard and then you inspire us too, you know, just by your work ethic and, you know, YouTube's no easy game. But that's why there's only so many creators in New York City that have full-time <laughs> livings and stuff. It's really hard. It's small and you're going to have days like this. Yeah. You know, you can always talk to us. It's still just the beginning. <laughs> we got a lot, a lot of doing excites to do. Of course. Sorry, man. No, you're good. Oh, well, you know, all you can do is really just live in the moment and just like, I mean, I think you're making a lot of good progress. You know, things don't get built in one day and like, I've done YouTube for 10 years. Like, I know you've done YouTube for a long time too and it, like our lives are more than just YouTube. Like, my videos like suck, right? I feel like I know so many people that enjoy your videos. So like, they don't suck. Don't feel bad and you came at a great time because Luke was gone. We like having you here, so that's the end of the story there. Guys, we're all human. It's tough to be young and trying to achieve our dreams, and it's hard to make money doing what we love. It's hard every single day to be super positive, and Doha is so brave to be out here in New York away from family, and you know, to anyone out there who's watching, like, drop some love in the comments. Talk to each other in the comments, man. Give some love to Doha. We love this man. He's speechless. This is the first time I've ever seen him speechless. <laughs> There's a special guest coming to town before this special guest arrives. I'm gonna do a little nighttime routine. A lot of people ask me what I use for my skin. If you've been following the channel for a long enough time, you know that I used to be full of pimples. It just was really bad. But then I found Curology. You can take a look at my before and after photos. The bread is in the oven. The rolls are bacon. Curology is a subscription service where basically you receive every single month a cleanser, a moisturizer, and a custom formula made by Curology's dermatology provider specifically for you. So now here's my routine. I'm stealing Ashley's cat ears. Look at me now. And that is my routine. And thank you so much, Kiraji. You can check out my link in the description. And with that said, the boy Luke is coming home. He's been gone for a few months. You know my friend Luke, the roommate. And so he's about to be here. Let's go see him. Would you like to 
should we do? What should we do? Oh, God. <laughs> oh, I see the camera. <laughs> Wow, the grinder. What up, dude? Look at the camera angles. Oh, <laughs> oh I forgot to literally mini ramp down here. Oh! Wow, you made my bed? Look at all these cameras. <laughs> wow, home sweet home. Welcome back to the ramp. Can I drop in? Of course, dude. No way, this seems steep. Lean forward. Pretty smooth. <laughs> oh, you're gonna take that off? Yeah. Damn, dude, he's a savage now. Bro, he's a skater. For real. I'm not a skater, though. <laughs> lean forward, lean forward. Oh, God, are you okay? I'm good, I'm good. I'm not forcing him to do this, by the way. God, dude, did that you hit your knee? Yeah. Dude, you gotta stop. Danger, danger. I'm a vlogger. Hi, right, good morning, Doha. Good morning, guys. All right, Luke, you've been gone for a while. What's one thing you learned while you were gone? You put it on the spot. Dude, share some knowledge with the, with the secret channel, man. Um, I don't know. Don't drink coffee every day. It defeats your energy. Don't drink coffee, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go get coffee. All right, Doha, what have you learned this month? Drop some knowledge. You shouldn't have 125,000 ISO. It should be lower. It's Let's go. Bad. What did you learn this month? I learned. Uh, I'm gonna ask that question and you don't even know your own. Dude, I know my answer. I learned that it's okay to use your iPhone to vlog because everyone <laughs> loves me. <laughs> I'm just joking. This is Kelly, and this is his rat tail. All right, rat tail update. Sometimes it just kind of hides, but... I haven't gotten one person that has been like, I also got a rat tail because of you. And really pushing this agenda, and I don't think anyone wants to get it. It's kind of bad news. I've been hiding it for you for a while. Okay. But maybe you've seen almost Oh my god. <laughs> I'm like kind of confused. All right, let's see what Luke's up to today. I accidentally took your shirt. Oh, your un unfinished legacy one? And then the Sony event, I ran into a tree and I ripped it. Oh my God. You feel good about yourself? Here you go, man. I could sew it. I got a sewing machine. I could sew it back for you. No, honestly, it's chill. I don't even like that shirt. Oh, really? I like yeah, it. Yeah, I'm like, I'm chilling. So you keep it. I will say. <laughs> Fire. Breakfast burrito with the boys. It's breakfast at 2 p.m. It's brunch. It's brunch. Coffee. Very nice. The man, the myth, the legend, Shervin shares. Basically, the landlord came the other day and said, the hot tub's gotta go, but I guess the cold plunge is fine. That's what he said. You know, the landlord is a health freak. That's basically what he's saying. All right, Shervin, what's one thing that you've learned recently? One thing that I've learned recently? Yeah. Show up, put in the work, and good things can happen. There we go. Look how many people showed up into my room. <laughs> what are you guys doing in my backyard? Sorry, we're just filming a video for my only fans. Ice baths for days. I guess we'll do them, why not? You wanna fight again? I've been training. Oh, oh yeah? Yeah, man, you slipped to dodge that. Oh, shit. <laughs> you didn't know how to dodge that. <laughs> All right, guys, do what excites. That's all I'm gonna say right now. It's warm, bro. It's a hot tub. <laughs> oh, time's up. He's done it twice so far. Oh, look at my blister I have right here. Gnarly. <laughs> the heck is that? <coughs> so you're gonna go in there? Let myself shiver? Yep, allow yourself to shiver. <laughs> Fake shiver. And then let me know when you're actually shivering. I feel like my body wants to shiver, but it hasn't started. Ooh, ooh it's been a while. Like, my hands are cold. <laughs> oh, it's been a while. My hands, I'm getting Parkinson's. You ever never talked about that side effect. <laughs> now a big question that people ask is like, how cold should the, the water be? What temperature should it be at? As cold as it is uncomfortable for you. So if it's 45 degrees right now and it's uncomfortable for Kelly. Doha, help me, Doha, help me. Doha, Doha, if you come in here and piss, it'd make it so much warmer. 13 seconds. 
Do I really want to do the Huberman way? I don't know. <laughs> All right, now one minute outside. Do you I know. Know. We are trying. We are trying the Huberman something. Huberman ice. I don't Huberman know, fat loss some, protocol. Some some stupid ass shit. Sherman sure brought over to do. We're trying to use an ice bath to get shredded. Huberman, Huberman. Oh, you know it's it's not as bad the second time. Oh, wait, it's really warm. Did you have that effect? So what is happening right now is when you get in the cold, it's stimulating something called succinate. Succinate is going to convert your white fat to brown fat, and brown fat has more mitochondria. You know what mitochondria is? But now I feel like now you're really capping. Are <laughs> <laughs> you talking about plants? Bro, <laughs> mitochondria is the powerhouse of your cell. Oh. Gotcha. If you do the ice bath, you get more brown fat, you burn more calories, you get skinnier, you lose fat. That's the theory. Okay. The second time it's like really warm. So probably what happened is your white fat converted to brown fat. That quick. <laughs> I think I've gotten pretty used to it. Well, so it doesn't really work. We gotta make it colder. Oh, oh, oh I'm shivering, I'm shivering. <laughs> <laughs> All right, time's up. Oh, I'm shredded. Wow, it feels good. I haven't done that in a while. It feels so good to get back in the tub. Thank you, Shervin, for coming over and making me do this bullshit. I'm coming for you, Jesse James. <laughs> ah! You go in there and you want to make sure you. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Luke! Ah. I love you guys. Do it excites by. Uh oh, Shervin. Not the plumber's crack. 